build, that it took to build in the first place. Had this been the States, I'm sure we'd have had money from the government to support this process of getting companies back into business. People stopped buying homes in Docklands immediately after the bomb. Now the buyers are back. These new £170,000 two-bedroom flats are sold without advertising but with one of the best views in London. Our hamlets have spent £2 million dealing with devastated council housing. In Northern Ireland, local councillors say the government would have paid. But there were a thousand doors and a thousand windows on the estate which were blown out and had to be replaced. It's a lot of broken glass. Three tons of broken glass in all. This Sunday, on the actual anniversary, Father Christopher Owens and other local clergy will hold a memorial service here at St Luke's and at the site of the explosion. Local children remember being scared, but the fear doesn't seem to have lasted. I don't want him to do it again. It was terrible. It was not good. It was terrifying, really. Do you worry about it at all now? Not a lot. Life goes on? Yeah. For the young, at least, the horror that struck their neighbourhood only last year seems to have passed. David Rose, News at 10, on the Isle of Dogs.